Okay, go. So, hi, uh, here today with uh, Ruthless Rand Oil. Um, Ryan's somebody that we've uh, uh, wanted to support, uh, and he's got a big fight coming up this Saturday. So I thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's help you guys out there and get to know him a little bit better. So I'm going to ask him a few questions about the fight and uh, about his life uh, leading up uh, to this to this stage. All right. So Ryan, uh, thanks for coming. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I'm a professional boxer, obviously from Manchester. Um, so current Commonwealth featherweight champion um, down the road. That's about it. Okay. Well, why boxing? What is your career? Is there anything else, or is, is it always been boxing? Uh, it's always been boxing. Uh, I love it. I eat, sleep, and breathe it. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's been a lifelong dream. I've since I've been amateur, I've turned to pro, and obviously I'm living the dream now. So okay. it's always been boxing. So who are you fighting this this Saturday? This Saturday I'm fighting Jordan Gill. Uh, it's undefeated in 21 fights. Um, you know, he's, he's a great fighter. He's good. I think he does. He does well, and I'm looking forward to rise to the occasion. So what makes you different? What makes you different than this guy? Uh, the will to win. Um, you know, I I believe I'm battle hardened. You know, I've, I've had ups and downs in my career. It's took me a very long time to get where I am today, and you know, I'm not going to give it away easy. I don't believe you've been in the fights I've been in, and you know, I'm looking forward to doing the business on twenty seven. And the ultimate goal for you then, after you've won this fight, obviously this Saturday, what's the ultimate goal? Uh, push on to you know bigger titles. Obviously, I've already won the English and the. Into big fights where you fight for the European, and you know, the ultimate goal is to get a world title, you know, okay. bring it back home to Manchester. So, you reckon you can, you're good enough to win the world title? Most definitely, yeah. Okay, good. So, um, what prep do you have to do then leading up to the fight, say three or four days before? What's uh, what, what you got to do to make you ready for the fight? Um, a lot of thinking, you know, going through a game plan with your trainer, that's one of the main things, but also massive thing what people don't understand it's about making the weight correctly right. um, obviously now I'm in water and takes very high um, strict dieting and long slow runs and you know get myself ready and prepare myself for the fight so when you when you get to the weigh-in you've got to make a certain weight and you, you're fighting at what weight nine stone featherweight nine stone featherweight so if you've not made the weight yeah, yeah I mean do you weigh yourself before or is it just a case of turning up on the on, on when you weigh in and then if you've got an opportunity to get to that weight or not no, I've got, I've got to be bang on the button, um, I've got to be nine stone, um, and that's the top part of it. Like saying, I've got to, everything's managed perfect, we've got to get the weight right, um, start cutting the weight about, say, a day before. Right. So it's all about the dry gym process, and it's, it's very, very fine tuning, but we'll get it done. And then when you've made the weight, what happens then? Do you eat as much as you can, and what say, you can, yeah. or what, what is there any particular food that makes it? It gives you more energy for the night then? Um, a lot of people go, go bananas and eat everything, do you know what I mean? Right. They eat chocolate, sweets, what? The main thing is to get your hydration up. Um, right. That's what I'll be doing, getting hydrated back up and a good solid carbs and then get, fuel myself and get ready for the night. Right, okay. So obviously you're fighting it that way. So how much weight can you put on between the weight and actually being in the ring? Uh, I'm scared, you know, I actually put on about anything between 16 and 18 pounds. Wow. Like Wow. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well. Good luck with that. Okay. Uh, so, a couple more questions. So, when you when you're in the ring, and it's a close fight, and you're going toe for toe, and you have to ten out of each other, what going through your mind? Um. It's the will to win, basically. Um. You know, like I said previously, it's it took me a very long time to get where I am today, and you know, I'm not going to give up either. Um. Like I say, I'm I'm striving for that. You know, the big title and big things in that world title fight. And it's going to be very hard for to beat me on the night. So I just think, well, I can do the dream and what I want, and that's what I'll get. Brilliant. And what's your biggest fear? The biggest fear, uh, it's actually losing. You know, I don't want to lose because obviously it's a long, it's a long way back. I've, I have done in the past, but I'm on a great, you know, run at the minute, and I'm looking forward to getting the job done on the twenty seven. Good, great, right. Quick five questions. You choose. Joshua or Lewis, Lennox Lewis? Uh, Lennox Lewis fan me. Okay. United or City? United. <laughs> Good. I'd like you got that one. <laughs> Pasta or steak? Steak all day. Okay. Weights or running? Running. Okay. Uh, X Factor or Strictly? Well, I've got a bit of idea. I'm more of an X Factor. Okay. Uh, Corey or EastEnders? Corey is just straight all day. A good woman or a good win? Oh, 
yeah. both the good women just <laughs> taking Mrs. C's here. Okay, and the last one. Now, you know we've got uh, our uh, sort of uh, mascot at the moment, which is Otif. So I'm going to ask you, Otif or Ruthless Rando, who's going to win? Ruthless Rando. Yeah, well, know, we'll see. Listen, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Good luck Saturday. Hope it goes well. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Well, uh, good luck. Cheers, Steve.